Good morning from Amsterdam. My name is Ivana and I am ready to go to Boxing Day brunch with my in-laws and Stefan, of course. What are you doing today? How's your 2nd of January? Because I am living in the past. These vlogs are always uploaded seven days later. Let me just show you what I'm wearing, by the way. A lot of times I look like a slob, but when I dress up, I like to show you what I'm wearing. So this is a top from Bershka, metallic top. And this is a skirt from Stad Stradivarius. Mm -hmm. And these lovely, lovely heels. Look at this, look at this. There are stars on them. And here's a little moon. They are from uh, Charlotte Olympia. Love them so much and have had them for years. Okay, let's go eat a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot, lot, lot. And, and Kruidberg, bring on the food, man. What is this puppy doing here? Hello, little puppy. Hello, cutie. Nope, he's ignoring me. The food, small bites, and this is a salad with walnuts, but they're bagels, prawn salads, sashimi, and for salads, bagels, a ginormous tower of oysters. And this is what I got a bagel with cream cheese, a wrap with avocado, some salad, a roll, and this is um, a little bit of risotto. Bowl. Holy smackers, it's dessert time. Look at this. This is super traditional Dutch Christmas bread. It's literally called kerstbrood, Christmas bread. Uh, meringues. Oh, I think this is creme brulee. Not really. Oh, this is so pretty. I love it. And we have over here cake. <gasps> wow. Too much desserts. <gasps> Oh wow, what is this? I think this is this might be ice cream or it's oh, it's just whipped cream. Cheese. Lots and lots of cheese. <gasps> Look at this, how pretty. Whoa. Oh, I need that. I think I bet this is chocolate mousse. Looks so good. Mm, this looks good too. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I told you I needed to not eat too much yesterday because today is loco. <gasps> Whoa. If you thought I have any shame in my game when it comes to desserts, you don't know me as well as you think you know me. Like literally, I have to try everything. Love it. We are about to leave, but I need to show you this place a little bit more because it's a very old, I don't know if it's really like a castle or like just a manor or something. It's a very, very old, as you can probably see from the wallpaper. And this is really, really cool. Wait, 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 wait. There are people over there, but um, like if you want to stay here, it's also a hotel. And you can go up these stairs. And I don't know if there's like a suite upstairs because it's only one door. Look at that. It's cool, right? And also, if we go this way, we hear people playing games and stuff, looks really cool. But here, this uh, this staircase reminds me of Home Alone. Can you imagine? Like I told this in last year's vlog, but in case you missed that, because we were here last year too. Can you imagine Kevin throwing those paint cans from here? I can totally see that. And I would be doing that. <laughs> It'd be cool, right? How epic are these stairs? I think they also have weddings over here. It's called Duin in Kruidberg. Very, very old place. Really cool. These are the other dining rooms, by the way. Oh, look at this. So fancy and private and stuff. We were not here, we were in a bigger one. And also, okay, 
And another one here. Is this like the super private one? Yeah. Again. With only two tables. Oh, look how pretty. And there is another massive one over here. And we were in the last one. And the view is also beautiful. <gasps> oh. I almost fell down. Look at this. So pretty. Look at the ceiling, by the way. I didn't show you this before. It's so pretty. I love the chandeliers too. Currently at the IKEA because we need to get a duvet. My brother is uh, going to stay over to sleep over tomorrow. So we need to get that, otherwise it will be cold. IKEA, oh my gosh. It is like Alice in Wonderland. You will never get out of this store. Once you go down this rabbit hole. Okay, two ways, two ways. Focus, focus. We made it to the bedding without looking at other stuff. Warm the way, warm the way. Where? Yes, found it. Now we have a new mission. Get to the cash register and buy this without buying other stuff. Ooh, cute. Ooh. Oh, MJ, the cutest panda. Gosh, can you imagine jumping in this whole pile of pandas? It's so cute. Okay, focus, 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 focus. Cash register. So close yet so far away. Must make it. Must make it without buying other stuff. Victory! Can you see that? Can you see that? Yep, that's the only thing we bought. Winning a life. Now we just have to buy four liters of milk because I am making paneer. Hey everyone, uh, we're celebrating third Christmas day tomorrow with uh, friends and my brother's gonna be there and my sister Nadine and her children and uh, the pandas and Todd and Navis. It's gonna be really really fun. It's got the groceries. See, this is the famous Patatje Yopi ships. Super Dutch. Stefan cradling the groceries. Groceries need love too. Oh my gosh, I almost fell. Wow, this is so not the outfit for grocery shopping. Oh my gosh. Failing in life, failing in basic human skills, like walking. Okay, so this is patatje yopi chips. And patatje yopi means, patatje means fries. So french fries, but the Dutch version of fries. And yopi is um, it's like a sauce, like mayonnaise. We in the Netherlands, we eat fries with mayonnaise, with ketchup, with um, patatje yopi sauce, we have curry sauce, we have so many sauces for fries but yopi, yopi sauce is like a super traditional Dutch sauce and they made chips with it. Back home and I am finally having the traditional Christmas biscuits, cookies, whatever. This is so good, it's just butter cookies with um, a little bit of shaved almond on top and I also have like the chocolate version. So good. This one with the sprinkles. It's also really, really good. Love this. Also, mm, boiling the milk for the paneer because, of course, it's Monday and I have to make paneer on Monday. Let's see if I can not let the milk overflow this time. Somebody said, like, put a wooden ladle on top and it will not overflow. We'll see if this works. But I am. Standing next to it. Uh, no, it's not boiling temperature yet. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached a historical moment. I curdle the milk without the milk overflowing. Winning in life. You have no idea how patient I was with this milk. First turned up the heat and then I turned down the heat. And then when it was just barely boiling, I poured in the vinegar. And now it's boiling and winning in my flipping life. Thank you for your assistance. Okay, I need to stop the heat now. No, no. Oh, just in time. No overflowing milk. Yes. Winning in mother flipping life, I feel like I have reached an important milestone which will define the rest of my life. Meaning, no more cleaning of the cooking plate with burnt milk. Also, you guys have taught me to save the whey and not throw it away because it is full of protein and good for you, apparently. Of course, a massive thank you to you guys. Without you, this wouldn't have been possible. Overflowing milk-free cooking plates. High five, bam, high five, bam.
Mm. Oh snap! Look who just made onion paste in her magic bullet! Ah! Look at me also making tomato paste! Oh! 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 oh. It's a tomato paste party! Wow! Look at me cooking proper Indian food! Oh my gosh! Boom! Shahi paneer! Made the proper way! So this is for tomorrow. And then the flavors are all going to mix and marinate and it's gonna be even more delicious when we eat it tomorrow i will have to make another batch for tomorrow because i didn't realize the shahi paneer spices the shahi paneer masala was so spicy the kids cannot eat that shetland and shalia because they are also coming like usually i just eat it and i don't think about it now i was like <gasps> No, the kids can't eat this, so tomorrow I'll be making another batch of shahi paneer But without the shahi paneer masala, I don't know how I'm gonna do that, we'll see By the way, some of you guys asked me to tell more about Dutch pancakes Well, these are Dutch pancakes called poffertjes Repeat after me, poffertjes So small pancakes and you eat them traditionally with butter and with sugar There we go, butter, icing sugar and I got a little bit twist of my own this is um, rose jam with pepper. I got it at a French press event, probably. But it tastes so good. If you're wondering where can I buy these in Amsterdam, well, I made a Dutch supermarket food tour video, which is one of my most popular videos on my channel. If you just go to my homepage, Popular Uploads, you will see it there. And I will recommend you to buy poffertjes at the Albert Heijn in the city center. Because you can buy them fresh and they do taste better fresh, but you only get like nine pieces or something. It's super expensive and if you buy them in the supermarket, it's quite good quality. It's not the best, but it's quite good. As you can see, we eat it for dinner. And um, you get like 72 pieces or something for 3 euros, which is awesome! And you can just heat them up in a frying pan like Stefan is doing right now. And they will become a little bit more crispy. This tastes better, but you can also just use the microwave for like 3 minutes or 1 minute or something. And then they will also, you know, be nice and toasty. Nom 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 nom. Mm. This is so good, you need to try this. Mm. We just finished watching the BFG and I am so excited for tomorrow. Oh, she tried paneer for the first time. How did you like it? If you would like to hang out with me again, click that subscribe button. And if you like this vlog, put a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.